the Crowley's Handicap Chase, 200 miles and 4 furlongs, 0 to 140. Will be my final race of the day. San Pedro, Erna, Vinny Gerard, Pearlie Jane, John Morgan, Camino de Man, Darren Thompson, Emotional, Joshua Sutherland, Jennifer Connolly, Matt Cooper, Paperweight Walker, David Robertson, Prickerton Sweeney, or Graham Clutterbuck, Flubber for David Robertson, Beach Day, David Ooney, and Black Peppermint, Paul Parsons. Away they go. And this is the race where they all get left at the start. I said there was going to be one that was going to come up, and it was Jennifer Connolly, Black Peppermint, and Beach Day, the three who got left behind this season. And Jennifer Connolly has recovered reasonably well, but made a mistake at that one, and so too did Black Peppermint. And Beach Day's fallen, so an absolute calamity to start the race there for those, but maybe it was just as well for Beach Day that it fell and didn't waste its energy racing round. It wasn't quite as dramatic as last year or the season before where I think we had sort of like a few of them ended up the best part of a furlough or two behind. They got left behind a little bit today but they didn't get left all that far behind and I would guess that there's every possibility that Jennifer Connolly and Black Peppermint could still get into this as they get over the third. As in the last couple of seasons if you go back and look through the archive on YouTube you'll see that that's been a real calamitous start for seasons there. I don't know why we don't try and move it forward or backwards a furlong to see if that makes any difference. It's one of those things that it's probably the last week of the season and we all forget about it. But it makes for a dramatic thing to happen the last week of the season, doesn't it? It's all well and good as long as it's not your horse that does it. I remember one of mine was involved in it a few seasons ago and it's pretty annoying when you think you've got something that's in with a good chance and it gets left at the start. It only ever happens in this one particular race. I knew it came up in the final week. I mentioned it in a couple of races ago. I couldn't remember exactly which race it was. Well, it was this one. And David Hooley was the one who suffered the most this season. With his beach day. He was well towed off. And then fell at the first anyway. Jennifer Connolly could well be the only... Oh no, she can't because she's fallen. So you know, I was going to say Jennifer Connolly might be the only one to actually ever get back into the race after being left at the start, but she's fallen. It's now down to Black Peppermint to do that, and I've got a feeling that Black Peppermint probably will struggle. But they're racing past the stand then, and I wonder what's been going on. I've been waffling about stuff from years ago. San Pedro Erna is the horse that's in the lead as they head out now on there final circuit of the track and San Pedro Erna from Pearly Jane in second, Prickton Sweevy is third then Paperweight Walker and Flubber with Camilla Demand and Emotional and then a gap back to Black Peppermint as they take the ninth uh, Black Peppermint nearly went at the back there so maybe all of those horses have got left for the start will end up falling but it's San Pedro Erna the business end of the race is two lengths clear of Pearly Jane and the David Rawson pair stalking Flubber and Paperweight Walker. Get back then to Camillo Demand on the outside of the grey pricket of Sweetie with the emotional on the inside as they take this ditch. And then Black Peppermint, the back marker, as they head towards the next. San Pedro Werner, who are in the lead. Finish Jones already had a couple of winners today. Flubber is second. Paperweight Walker's third, Pearly Jane fourth. These are clear by a good four or five lengths than the rest of them. And San Pedro Werner with four to jump. And four and a half furlongs to race. He's two lengths clear. Over that fourth last and that time, Flubber was the one that made the mistake. And now all of a sudden, Pericatum Sweevy and Camillo Demand have joined that chasing group, emotional looks a little bit out of it, so too does Black Peppermint, but it's San Pedro Werner, who's five to six clear over this final ditch, the third last. Well clear the village, Gerard Horse then at the moment. Paperweight Walker's moved into second. Pearly Jane is there in third. Camilla Demand and Brickton Sweeney trying to run on. Flubber's beaten, Emotional's beaten. Black Peppermint's been beaten since the start. They get down to the second last, and over that one, San Pedro Werner is five to six clear. Unless this one hits a bit of a brick wall, it's got to win. It's San Pedro Werner over the final 
central fence and he ran straight into it but luckily for him so too did the horse in second and that's going to mean there's only going to be one winner in this race I think but Pericletum Sweeney might have a different opinion so too my paperweight walker is really getting going again now and San Pedro Werner needs a line to come San Pedro Werner paperweight walker paperweight walker has got up to win it would you believe it they both made a dreadful mistake at the last and you'd never have believed that paperweight walker would be able to recover and reel in the long time leader but he did on the line and paperweight walker takes it for david robertson san pedro Werner for vinnie gerard second pearly jane john morgan third brickham sweeney for graham clutter fourth and camillo demand for darren thompson was fifth